Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, the remaster of this amazing game, right here, is up for pre-order now on Limited Run Games for the physical copies for Switch, PS5, and Xbox Series X, and there's a collector's edition, and we're going to be all checking it out right here. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button. Also, share with your friends if you don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel, and you will become a fan. I hope so. Limited run games, I'm telling you, in my opinion, they're doing an amazing job getting all of these games and bringing them back physically is always awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's check out the standard releases here. And then we'll get to the Clutch Edition. Dragami Games is doing the game, but Limited Run is doing the physical copy. Now, the digital version of this game doesn't release until I think is September 25th, I think. Um, we're going to be checking out the trailer ag again. I've done it before in one of my past previous videos. But the pre-orders began today, July 26th, and they close on August 25th. So you have a little bit of time to pre-order this amazing remastered game. Because everything that I've seen from this game, it appears to be uncensored, just like the original. Except the only downside to this one is, the music is going to be different than the original. And that's why I said in one of my previous videos, I like physical games, so I got my previous PS3 version. So I can listen to the original music, because they made new music for this game because of the copyright issues. Which expired for the original which becomes expensive to get it back so that's understandable all right let's get to the rest of the video is 45 dollars it was 50 but they dropped it down to 45 which is great <clears throat> it's, it's expected to ship out december 1st through the 31st so let's get to the other versions but let's go ahead and check out the screenshots now of course, we're going to be showing off some gameplay like I previously just said. I'm just so excited about this. This is awesome that this game is coming back and physically. Oh, yes. Lollipop Chainsaw is awesome. Now, here's something different right here, which was not in the original. Um, different hair color so you got the crimson red the classic ash the the original gold which is her standard color natural black and shiny pink so that's different all right so awesome and the game runs in 4k 60 frames all that stuff and of course the switch copy is 1080p ours the ps5 artwork and lastly the xbox series x before we do the physical of the collector's edition and here we are it's a hundred and fifty dollars for the collector's edition let's see what it all comes with it comes with the collector's edition box the physical copy of the game of your choice it comes with a 10 inch juliet starling statue which is the name of the cheerleader She's 18 years old in the game, and this game is, as you could say, risque, raunchy, raw, however you want to say it. It's that kind of a game, but it's also a type of game to not to be taken serious. It's, this game was written by James Gunn, and if you know him, he's very awesome and crazy with the stuff that he writes and stuff. It's just all around a... Funny, awesome, amazing game. We also got a soundtrack. We got an art book and all that stuff. A keychain. And also it looks like a coin, but it says metal. As in a 
like a, you know, like a medallion that you would wear around your neck, but it's called a metal. Alright, let's check out the details here. So, the Clutch Edition comes with the physical copy of the game. Uh, a lot of pop chains are repop. Clutch Edition box, soundtrack, art book, 10 inch, Juliet Starling statue, neck, head, keychain, and the San, is it San Rio uh, Knights High School med medal? Yeah, because. Nick is her boyfriend, and he's just ahead. I'm not going to go into all the details about how that happened. Play the game, and you will find out for sure. But like I said, this is a crazy, silly game, and it's so much fun. And it's definitely worth playing for sure. Definitely if you did not play the original. Because this one supports 4K with better graphics and all that, like I said before. And it's also got some extra added mechanics as well. Let's get to the gameplay. Alright, here we are with the PlayStation trailer for the game. I would love to know down in the comments, did y'all ever play the original game? I would love to know. Now, right here, it's been concerning to some people, but this version of the game comes with two different versions. It comes with the Repop version, which has less violence, and it also comes with the original version of the game as well. So, nothing to be concerned about, as far as I can tell. So, everything, like I said, from this game that I've seen so far, this game will be uncensored, just like the original. I'm so happy and, and excited about that, but more happy, more happier that the physical is here, with limited run games. Now, there is a Play Asia version, um... Which is a Japanese version, which I have showed it off before on my channel. And that version of the standard is only for PS5 and Switch. And it releases in September around the same time that the digital version also releases. But I prefer the, the English cover art and all that stuff. That's my preference of gaming. Um... But I guess I could show it off at the end of the video just in case uh, if anybody is interested in picking up the Play Asia version. So I'll make sure to do that right before the video is over. But yeah, oh my goodness, are y'all excited to play Lollipop Chainsaw again? I would love to know on modern day platforms this time around. But yeah, it looks so much better than ever, and like I said, it does It does kind of suck that the original music isn't here to go along with it, but that's okay by me, as long as the gameplay itself is perfectly fine, matching up to the original, I'm okay. But yeah, right here it will say the digital releases on September 25th for the digital. So confirming what I said earlier in the video. Plus I also got a website and stuff and all that stuff as well too. Alright, here we go on PlayAsia.com. This version is expected to ship out on the 26th, so the day after the digital version. But like I said, this version is in Japanese. But if that's okay with you, then here, there you go. And also the PS5 version as well. And the cover art, comparing it to the limited run cover art, is almost exactly the same. Maybe a little bit different, but it doesn't matter to me too much. Yeah, so please let me know down in the comments. Will you be picking this up physically through limited run or wherever? Maybe you, you're interested in getting the PlayAsia copy. I would love to know down in the comments will you be getting that version. Because you don't want to support Limited Run, I get it, I get it. But, in my opinion, Limited Run is doing a pretty good job. And normally, Limited Run puts manuals into their games. Full colored manuals and everything. And I've seen some unboxing videos of Play Asia games. And they normally don't include manuals. And I like the manuals, plus 
is in English when it comes to the box art. That's what I prefer. So I would love to know. And I also, will you be downloading this on the 25th? I would love to know. If, I would just love to know if you're going to be playing this game. That's all I want to know. Alright, thank you so much. I'm going to be getting this hopefully. Hopefully very soon. Alright, thank you so much. Alright, so happy about this. Alright, bye.